Hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I would like to talk about some intimidating books. And by that I don't mean the content of the book per se. Uh, I mean it can be, but not like in horror, not in the genre aspect. Let's get into it, shall we? So I picked up a couple of books from my little TBR cut that has rolled away for some reason, but okay. Because <laughs> I was looking at it and I was like, you know what? When am I going to pick up these books? Not that I don't want to, but it's more like when you look at the books you have and thinking about which books to read, some of the books are maybe like put to the side as a work because I mean, it could be multiple reasons behind why, but I, I don't know. So I picked up a couple of them and thought, you know what, let's just go through them and see and see see what it's all about. So, so the first two I have here are The Odyssey and The Iliad and it's usually this way around by Homer. Now, I actually have read these before, like a long, 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 long time ago, you know, <laughs> when dinosaurs walked the earth. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I intend to say about that, but okay. However, I got these editions a couple of years ago and I think the like the version I read were a bit of a revised situation um because they were a lot thinner <laughs> and I mean these are bible pages in these ones so you know you can say whatever you want there uh, also as a kid I used to watch the adaptations a lot like um well the Odyssey and the Iliad and the, the, the Odyssey and the Iliad. <laughs> anyway, um, so I mean Greek mythology as a word has always been not a big part of my life but it's been like in the back of my mind. I've always been a bit fascinated by it. So these stories have always kind of been there in a sense. So I, I have actually read them before. Just not these editions. Um, and I, I, I'm pretty sure they were heavily revised editions as well. So, you know, there's that. And I mean, I have started uh, this one and I've read, I think I've read like up to part three or something. Yeah, so I've read the like first two parts of it. But there's always something that keeps me from picking it up again. It can be because each part is like a million pages long and that always kind of keeps me, well it stops me from picking a book up knowing that beforehand because I'm the kind of person who likes to read like from chapter to chapter or part to part or whichever. I, I want like a conclusion to whatever I'm reading. Well, as, as much as you can get from like a chapter or whatever. So there's that. And then I started looking into like the other kinds of books that I had on my TBR that, that I'm going like, ooh, ooh. So we have The Divine Comedy. Also, it's a chunky boy. Like this is also a story that's fascinated me um, for as long as I can remember. However, it's not a normal book. It's what is it they say it's like it's um a collection of poems or something so let's just take to a random page and you can see like it's like trying to read the bible or something you have very very short bits and pieces i, I can't figure out the word i can't remember the word, specific word for it right now which is super annoying but Oh, then we have commentary and notes. Oh, that's... These are commentary and notes, just that part. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's 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 not making me want to put it down more, no? <laughs> um, but yeah. I know there is a YouTube channel out there somewhere, and I have it written down somewhere. I just don't know it from the top of my head, but... They have made videos, like, taking you through each part of this book. Um, so I may have to, do, like, watch that and read this simultaneously. But it's not going to be something I'm picking up anytime soon, I don't think. It feels like something I need 
a lot of time with. I just have to like melt it. Like with Homer as well. It's it's gonna have to be a slow burn one. Not really what slow burn means, but sure. And then we come to a different kind of classic. A little well, it's not written as long ago as the other three books I've showed you. Um, it's Revolutionary Road by Richard Yates. So, where to even begin? I mean, this one isn't as chunky as, say, <laughs> The Divine Comedy, but it's something about it that makes me go, this is gonna be such a heavy read for my brain that I just don't wanna. But at some point, I bought this book because I wanted to. So where, where am I going wrong here? <laughs> Where am I going wrong? Moving on because, you know, another classic, um, and I have read something by them previously. What did I read? A Christmas Carol. So this is uh, Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, and yes, I have read A Christmas Carol. Jeez. Wow. Brain is not braining. Anyway, The Christmas Carol is about ye this thick. Um, but essentially it's just a novella <laughs> with very long parts. Um, so it can be quite a heavy read that one as well. And this is what I'm thinking with Oliver Twist. But at the same time, at some point I bought this book wanting to read it. So why am I not reading it? What is it? What is it? Is it... I don't know. Is it because it's a classic? Like the other ones, it's like, it's it's the classic part that's making my brain go, no, you, you really don't really function. <laughs> you and classics don't really work very well because your brain starts, you go into it and it's like, oh, this is okay. Sure, I'm vibing with it. And then the further in I go, the more bored I get for some reason, and my brain starts, well, not, it doesn't start, it stops. It's like, so it does, I, <laughs> I do this too when um, there's a lot of people talking and none, no people are making any sense, like, kind of like I am right now, but I have a tendency to stop listening. It's, it's like I just shut off my brain and go wander somewhere else. It's not great. It's not great. Um, I don't know why I do this. I've always done it. It's, I may be like, <laughs> I had a trauma in childhood and that's just my way or was my way of dealing with it. And now I just still do it for some reason. It's very annoying because yeah, yeah, it's not great. Um, you, you do tend to have to listen <laughs> every now and again. <sighs> yeah, it's not great. Um, so yeah, what what's up with that? What is up? What is up? Anyway, so the last two books I have is, well, it's a, it's a series. See, it's part of a series. So the first one is The Priory of the Orange Tree. It's a very chunky book. And let's pick up the other chunky book, which is um, A Day of Fallen Night, both by Samantha Shannon, also very chunky. I mean, um, it is signed, um, and it's also doubly signed and personalised. I'm gonna put that down. Same with this one. Uh, I don't think this is doubly signed, I just think it's signed and personalised. <laughs> but, here's the thing. I did have a paperback version of this. I gave it to my mum for some reason, I don't know. Because I started it, and it was a lot. So, the thing... <laughs> The thing that doesn't work well with me in fantasy books, and mostly fantasy books, is the multiple POVs. For some reason, it's like I I get into like that character at the time, and then all of a sudden we're, we're switch characters, and we're somewhere else in a very different world, or, well, it can be a different world, honestly. And... It's like I'm not getting enough and I'm just getting used to one part before 
switching to a different one and getting a whole bunch of new information and then I'm going to have to process all of it and it's like my brain doesn't want to. My brain don't want to. But I have these books, I have them signed, I have them personalised, so I'm definitely going to read them. But having one started this book as well, oh the text is a lot bit larger in this one, I like that. Anyway, <laughs> having one started it, I know it's a book I'm going to have to take my time with, like a lot of time with. It's going to be a very slow read. Uh, an intentionally slow read and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be for like the prequel um, this one this one is gonna have to be a slow read too um, but I like the general idea of it of the story I mean so where do we go from here where do we go with all these chunky books I mean just Samantha Shannon's books is basically the same. Hang on, let's see if I can. Oh my god, they're heavy. I mean, these books are almost as tall as these five books. If I if I take down the Oliver Twist one, it's the same exact size. Oh my god, that 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 was so heavy. I, that was so heavy. <laughs> Oh, what have I got myself into? I don't know. I don't know. It's that moment when you realise you have a bunch of books and you don't know if you should or want to read them anymore. I mean, I do. I do want to read these books. Um, but it's that little like thing in the back of my head that makes me go... But you don't really want to pick them up now. You want something easy, and these are not easy. Someone is driving a very rough motorbike outside. That doesn't sound good. Dude, you need to get that one checked. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so... Let me know if you have any like intimidating books on your TBR or on your shelf or wherever you keep the books you you haven't read and um, like which books are they and why are they intimidating so for me I think these are mostly intimidating one because they're about a million pages long and two classics classics does something to me so <sighs> yeah anyway do let me know what are your thoughts and what are your thoughts on the books I have here like should I exclude any should I just go do you want this book and give it away just feed it into the camera and be like Whoop. here's a book for you I mean I could I could I could. <laughs> it's one way to not see them anymore. I'm joking. But am I? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Oh, bye bye.